Installed density for the wall is three and a half pounds per cubic foot. The target pressure creates a full cavity fill and ensures that it will never settle, optimizing the R value. Bags come off of our line at two to three times as dense as needed in a wall cavity. The conditioning in the hopper and movement through the hose loosens it up. And the air and gate settings, as well as the movement in the hose, further liberate the material so we can install it at the desired density. A variety of hoses and tubes can be used in wall work. Flexible tubing allows us to work in existing walls through a relatively small hole and aluminum tubes are one option when working in new construction behind webbing before the sheetrock is applied. Various reduction fittings are used between different size hose to create a smooth transition for the material. Density can be calculated for an install with a coverage chart. Knowing the number of bags for an area is a quick way to check that enough material has been installed and at the right density. Most siding can be carefully removed to access the sheathing below and then replaced after the installation is done. It's important to identify obstacles within the wall as well as the condition of interior surfaces. Lightweight sheetrock, paneling, or aging plaster should be identified and possibly observed during installation to make sure they remain sound during installation. Outlets and other electrical receptacles as well as plumbing should also be identified. A gradual reduction in hose size to the desired wall tubing size will help condition the material and allow you to work into smaller spaces. Given that in retrofit work, there are numerous obstacles to work around, a wall tube that fits within the wall cavity is ideal.